I've, I've tried a lot of beers from Celador and I've had a lot of really great ones. This is up there. This is a, a top five Celador beer for me for sure. Super good. We have a very special beer from Celador Ales. This is a beer called Chenille. This is a farmhouse ale with apple cider must and black cherries. Very excited to dig into it. 7.8% in that brand spanking new Celador can format. Really cool to see that, just nice and clean, taking that minimalist Celador aesthetic, that real artsy design, and kind of putting it into an aluminum can format. On this beer, we have a uh, cider and saison fermented in neutral oak wine barrels. This is from Andy's Orchard, mixed black cherries, naturally conditioned with local orange blossom honey. Let's crack it open. All right. So we're gonna pour this in the Celador glass. Got a beautiful looking beer, extremely lively. Um, didn't gush, didn't go all over the place. Um, that head dissipated extremely quickly um, to reveal just a very bright, really just like glowing. What color is this? It's like a cross between pink, red, and orange. Really nice on, on like the paler side of all those things. I can't really tell. In this lighting, it's got like this orange, pink, red thing going on. Yeah, it's not quite like full on black cherry, dark red. It's really cool looking. And it's got like the carbonation on this, even though the head just dissipated quickly, it's got this kind of liveliness. Like I'm hearing the carbonation. It's kind of like crackling a little bit, but it's also, it's lighter too. Like it's got this lightness to it that I don't see a lot of beers this shade. And I really like this a lot. It's really unique. Apple cider must, black cherries, farmhouse ale. Wonderful nose, super fruity, exploding with fruit. Got a really nice sweetness on it too. This one balances like the tartness on the nose with uh, the sweetness of the cherries and the apples. It has a little bit of that like Saison character. You're getting a little bit of like kind of like floral peppery thing going on, but the fruit and the apples are kind of front and center here and nothing smells artificial. And that's just Celador's style. Real fruit smells really fresh and natural and real and juicy and delicious. Like you could just be eating the fruit straight out of a bowl if being fed to me by, sorry, I, I went off on a tangent here. Let's try this beer. That is awesome. That is awesome. I was kind of speechless for a second because um, everything that I had on the nose came through on the taste, but like times 10. Super, super good. So yeah, tartness, sweetness, but dry. Nice carbonation, that really, really aggressive carbonation that you come to expect from Celador. And the Saison base is just like really just it's, it's creating a foundation for this fruit juice to, to play around and the, and the fermentation, the, the wild uh, bacteria to kind of play around. It's really kind of background and giving it like just a really great base, delicious. I mean, I've, I've tried a lot of beers from Celador and I've had a lot of really great ones. This is up there. This is a, a top five Celador beer for me for sure. Super good. Wow, this is incredible. I mean, maybe it's the black cherries that are really kind of drawing me in, but the Saison, the apple cider must, the black cherries, like everything's working in this beer. Really nice. 7.8%, so I mean, this drinks like it's low fives. So you gotta be really careful on this beer because it just, it drinks so dry, so smooth. Now that I'm kind of like concentrating on it, I am kind of feeling like a little bit of heat here in the chest, but yeah, you don't really, unless you're like focusing on that, you really wouldn't get there. So really delicious beer. This is the winner so far. This is awesome. This is awesome. Good stuff. And then I'll just kind of show 
that color again because that is a, a cool looking beer.